Greetings Star Wars Nation and welcome to Star Wars World Reviews and today I want to show you guys some of the pops that I picked up this past weekend and I know you probably already seen them unboxed in other channels but as for me as a small time collector it's all about what I want to see in my collection and it's also about price so with that sit down buckle up and hit that hyperdrive because Star Wars World Reviews starts now All right, boys and girls, for those of you that are new to this channel, my name is Ro, and the first three pops that I'm gonna show you guys, I picked up at Best Buy. The first pop, and you probably can see it and guess by now, is the Luke Skywalker pop. And honestly, I think they did a good job to see if we can focus here on this Luke pop. You can see that he's old. You see that uh, he is probably like a hermit type of person. So, this pop I picked up and I actually have the receipt here, which is good. I picked up for $4.49, which is not bad at all if you're starting your collection. The second pop is the Ray pop from The Last Jedi, so it's good. And this pop I picked up for $3.99. So if you're uh, wanting to start off, head out to Best Buy and you'll probably find some good pops there. And the final pop that I picked up at Best Buy is this uh, Kylo Ren and his TIE Fighter. Um, I like the way that Kylo looks. And see if the camera can focus here. You see him, he's pretty detailed. I mean, it has the scar on the face and you see him in his TIE Fighter. And I think that for the size of the pop, they did a good job um, giving us a good Kylo Ren pop. And before I forget this pop, was $5.49, $5.49. It's not bad, at least you're not paying retail price, and it's one of the bigger size pops. Look at this. See, regular size pop, Kylo Ren pop, $5.49, not bad at all. The second set of pops I picked up at a pop store, and when you walk in, even though it's a small store, they have tons of pops. I mean, they're pops from wall to wall, and it's the Princess Leia pop, but not only the Princess Leia pop, She's an Endor in her speeder bike. And as you can see, I love the backdrop of the pop. See it? Take a look at it. Not only does she look like she's part of the movie, but I also picked up this pop, which is the Chase Luke, Chase Luke Skywalker. Look at that. So I picked up this bundle, two for one, for $30, $30 for both of them. So I like a good deal. They were both 30 bucks. The boxes seem to be pretty good condition. And I think that was what made this, uh, I guess, set work for me, was that I didn't pay a lot of money, $30 for both, uh, about $15 a pop, which is what you normally buy a pop at a, a like a Think Geek or at GameStop. So two for 30, not bad. And the third and final collection for, I guess, my collection I'm doing of pops is this Darth Vader pop. Now, I do have the other ones there in the back, which is uh, Han Solo, Princess Leia, Papatine, Wicked, and Lando. I do have all of them. I was just missing this pop, which is Darth Vader. I paid $12, um, a little bit above retail price, but considering that I cannot find this pop, I try to go to different targets at different times, and I cannot find this pop. I was willing to pay a little bit more just to complete my collection. And this is a tip for you guys, like I said, who are wanting to collect pops, is that get what you want. Get what you know appeals to you. For me, it's Star Wars pops. Maybe for you guys are different shows. And I do have pops from that are non-Star Wars pops. The reason why I got them is because I really like the way they look. So maybe for you guys, it might be that. And I suggest not paying a ridiculous amount of money for them. My fear is that this will be the next uh, Beanie Babies. I hope not. I hope that, you know, throughout time, they can stand their value and they will probably go, I guess, higher than what you pay for these. But $12, not bad to complete this uh, collection. All right, boys and girls, so that's it for my weekend haul of pops. And I hope maybe in the future, guys, I can show you where I get my pops or even, you know, what I obtained that week if I can't really record at the store. But I like, you know, a good bargain. I like pop hunting. So maybe, hopefully, my collection can grow without paying just, you know, a ridiculous amount of money. Maybe things that I enjoy. 
So with that guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new. And like always, can't wait to guys have you back here at Star Wars World Reviews.